today we are going to see the option of docker so for that purpose you must need to install docker on your operating system that is the first priority and that is the first requirement once you have installed the docker you can simply execute this particular command in your terminal so i'm going to execute this particular command in my terminal first of all what it will do is it will try to locate the image rocker r studio but in case it is not available and the docker instance is not able to find the image locally it will pull it will fetch that image from docker central repository and store it on your local system once the image pulling has been completed by docker it will execute and start this run command so over here this test is rm means we will remove this container once the process has been done or once we close the operation or the process dash p so over here we are mapping port number 8787 of docker instance with the host machine okay then dash e so these are the environment variables so over here i am providing test as my password and i want to execute this rocker r studio image in a container so over here uh, i will go to this and then local host uh, column 8787 enter and you can see that right now i have got this signing page or login page of r studio over here a username will be r studio itself and password will be test and then signing now it will open the r studio interface now over here if you want you can write entire new r script you can save it you can execute it if you want to open any other r script as well you can do that as well but make sure one thing over here that whatever you are going to do with this r studio session it will be available within the docker instance only so once you have killed docker container and once you have removed that particular docker container if you have stored any kind of the script anything that won't be available to you after that so before removing docker container always make sure to get backup okay so over here uh, if you want to see uh, like what is the current working directory get wd sorry and i just execute this so you can see that current working directory is home r studio now i will close this session i will stop this execution of command as well so in the earlier session of r studio available via docker instance my current working directory having all the r scripts was not available due to which if i want to get any particular r script and want to work with it i won't be able to do that so to overcome this issue we have another command which is this one so uh, this command is for windows specific where we will bind current working directory to the home r studio working directory of docker instance but over here as i am using linux so i am going to use this command in which we are going to bind current working directory which is this one so i am going to bind this working directory with the docker instance and its home r studio directory okay okay over here we have got uh, the error that repository name must be in lower case so i just need to change this like this and this and enter okay again permission denied so sudo enter again we will wait yeah it's done over here docker instance has been started and it's running now so again i will go to google browser and again uh, write the same thing local host 8787 again uh, username will be r studio and password will be test the ui is available now and if you can see over here then my current working directory of linux has been mapped with the home r studio working directory of docker instance now what i can do is if i want to execute this hello world dot r script i can do like this source hello world dot r oh, sorry uh it is hello not hello okay and you can see that uh we are able to successfully execute hello world dot r script even if i want to open it i can do like this uh file open file and then hello world and again control a select all control enter and again i am able to execute all the lines of this script that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video